made up of an all-star Canadian cast of award-winning blues and roots musicians under the direction of Juno Award-winning producer and musical director Lance Anderson. The Last Waltz is performing tonight in celebration of the 40th anniversary of the band's last concert in 1976. That was Thanksgiving Day, 1976. The performance will recreate the atmosphere of the band's final concert, which was captured in Martin Scorsese's award-winning concert film, The Last Waltz. Thanks to Scorsese, we can live that long in the privacy of our own home, but you're never going to have an experience like this, seeing it performed live on stage. The band made up of members not only from Canada, but from the U.S. crossing borders. Music crosses borders. Music tears down walls. No walls here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Please welcome The Last Wall, a musical celebration of the band live. All right. of their last concert in uh, San Francisco in 1976 and we want to dedicate this evening to the three band members who have passed which is Rick Danko, the soulful Richard Manuel and the great Levon Hell. This is dedicated to their member. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. I love that too.
uh, the owner had passed away, so the son and his mother were running the pines. And the place was sold out. Uh, it was a sit-down dinner, if you bought the right ticket, and then heard the band. And then I went out to see them, because I was not traveling with the band then, but naturally communicating quite often with Levon. And uh, I said, uh, the band wants a, an opening act. And I said, I can recommend a band. And that band was the Gary Hornbeck band. And my son, my son happened to be the drummer for the Gary Hornbeck band. <laughs> and the fact that, the fact that he was uh, Lee Vaughn's dog son, it just a natural fit, right? So the band rolled into town. Uh, I'll tell you very quickly because we got some time. What Lee Vaughn, what Lee Vaughn liked to do, folks, if he was getting ready for a tour of say you know, 25, 30 cities, he liked to make a mini tour, do three, maybe three spots, just so the band could get tight, and then go out and do the big tour. So that's what he did. And the agent brought the, the Levon and the boys into Kitchener, Lulu's at the time. <laughs> Lulu's. Lulu's had the largest, or they acclaimed, the largest uh, bar in Ontario. And it's true, because it was an old Kmart store, and they turned it into a bar. Number two was a, a place called Nags Head North in Toronto. Boy, how do you get a lot of traveling, huh? Nags Head North brings back a memory, because we worked there. And uh, of a night, and who walks through the door with his band was Ricky Skaggs. That was a hell of a night. But that's another story. So now we move on to the Pines. And everyone eats and everything's fine and all the guys are on the tour bus. And Jerome and Gary Hornbeck are op opening, doing the opening act. And Levon and Rick said, Bill, we want to go out and, and hear them. I said, well, come on, we'll come in the back way. And we got behind the bar, and we were all standing there watching, and Levon, uh, Jerome, rather, was playing Levon's kid, which was pretty hype, and, you know, he was excited as hell to play his drums. And uh, anyway, we stood there, and I don't know, maybe four or five songs, and then we walked outside, and this is where it really gets interesting. <laughs> We walked outside the back of the pines, and there was this odor in the air. And it was not a nice odor, believe me. And Levon said, what the hell is that? And I said, Levon, I have no idea. We carried on to the tour bus, and as we got closer to the tour bus, it got stronger and stronger. We get on the tour bus, the band is nowhere in sight. They've all gone inside. And it, the stench you wouldn't believe. So Levon, bless his heart, talking about your brother, the air was blue from what came out of him. I cannot repeat it. <laughs> but the bottom line was, Biz, find out what the hell is wrong. So I back into the club and I get a hold of the... Uh, the uh, son, and I said, what is the problem out there? And he doesn't want to tell me. Well, then one of his people come up and said, you know, they're having a hard time monetarily. So consequently, they haven't drained their septic tanks. Two of them. Now with all those people in there that have dinner and are drinking, they're using the washrooms, those tanks are just bubbling. <laughs> they're really working. <laughs> Do you remember that, son? Oh, Lord. Smell it right now. <laughs> so I went back to the bus. I said, leave one. Rick, get your shirts on. The guys are inside, and I'll just cut the show short and go on out and do your number. Because I had to do that, folks, because you've got these beautiful musicians behind me, okay? But believe me, 
if something at the beginning of a night or a show affects someone and kind of turns them off, it can ruin a whole show. I know, I've been there, I've seen it. Consequently, they went out, did the show. We couldn't move the tour bus because there was all kinds of cars parked around and had to wait until the show was over, the people left, and Devon got in that bus and said, take her to Woodstock. And <laughs> Good talking with y'all. I hope you enjoyed that. But that's the tour, you know, a beautiful tour bus and it smelled like shit. <laughs> You'll have a good night. <laughs>
Tracy Randall, and uh, Holly, and all the other staff members here at Music Fest for having us, uh, having us here tonight, and for treating us so well. Thank you so much. Please put your hands together for Bill Porter on the front of house sound and John on the, the monitors. This is a very big show to put together just in a couple of hours. Uh, we also, again, just like at the beginning of the show, we'd like to, uh, again, we're honored to play this music that was written by and played by Rick Danko, Richard Manuel, Garth Hudson, Levon Helm, and Robbie Robinson. The band. If you know anybody in Winnipeg or Calgary that would like to see this show, please let them know on Facebook and social media. It really help us out. Uh, thank you so much for coming here tonight. We've got a ball. Please sing along with us. This too. Ladies and gentlemen, our fearless leader and regional director, Mr. Lance Anderson.
Saints. Mark two Saints on the organ. Special guest Matt Weidinger, Keisha Wink, Tony Max, Chuck Jackson. Hope to see you the next time. Join us on Facebook, ladies and gentlemen, Ross Rolf.